Hi Leo, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-September general reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Leo, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Leo, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Leo, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Leo, let's get right into this. I hope you're all doing well. Again, this is your mid-September general reading. <clears throat> Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Y'all know the drill. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Leo? Again, mid-September. All right. Um, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck as your theme here. This is a passionate new beginning. Um, I really see a lot of you, your third eye can be getting a lot of information, communication, visions, that kind of thing. This is passion. This is like something very, very, very exciting is coming in. I just like feel like I have like a shit eating grin on my face. I'm like, what's going to happen? Like something really happy, new beginning here. Queen of Swords, Page of Cups. Someone's been thinking about you. In like a very fun, romantic way. Okay, nine card spread, so past, present, and future here. What's been going on with Leo, please? What's been in the recent past here for Leo? You. You. Yeah, okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, just in the feminine. You're so, like, you want something. You're the thing. You're the, I'm hearing golden ticket. Um, you have the hangman here. And then the three of pentacles and the devil and the star, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. You received something that helped you see something else in a new light. I'm feeling for a lot of you, you've really gained overall a sense of confidence. You might have like, I feel like you also spirit gave you something, maybe money, maybe a, you know, a reward, maybe a person. Anyways, you feel more, I'm hearing there's been a boost of confidence within you that gives you a new way to look at something on how to build or rebuild in a current three of pentacles, family situation, your career. Um, this is also general. So please take it how it resonates. And if what I'm saying doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's okay if it's not your message. Um, it's okay. <laughs> What's the current energy for Leo? Star card. Something You want something. So it's like you got a dream. You got a wish come true or it's coming in. Okay? Then we have the Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm hearing, take the money and run, take the money and run, Sun card, that's you. For some of you, like you're getting something, um, you, you have gotten something or you're going to get something pretty significant. Um, it's a wish come true. It's something that you've been wishing for. Ten of Pentacles could be a home, something with the family, money and inheritance for some of you something like that but there's a little bit of like i'm gonna not tell anyone about this but there's also a huger a, a higher vibrational message here leo of once something really great comes in it's like you don't even believe that it's here you're i'm hearing you say things like this is too good to be true there's no way i got that job there's no way i got that dream person and there's an, an inkling seven of swords wheel of fortune where you could potentially self-sabotage something fucking brilliant and amazing that came into your life because you at the end of the day are like, do I deserve this? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Three of pentacles here in the past 
to me, if you've especially been watching my channel for a while, the three of pentacles starts what? The ten of pentacles. Because here in the three of pentacles, this is where we have to get it together. This is that calling a meeting energy. This is what works for me in this family, in this relationship, in this career situation. What works for you? You tell me. And then with that together, you build a foundation here, okay? And I feel like that's what's been happening and you get it with the start with the sun and the stars is also you. With the seven of swords, there's a little bit of trickery here with the hangman. It's about how you choose to see it or maybe how someone else chooses to see it. But what's coming in for Leo here, mid-September, what's the future energy? Major level up decision. I love that judgment came out. Judgment, but then we have the Eight of Swords, Magician, Page of Swords, Four of Swords. I'm feeling for some of you, there's something that you want to share. You have a, a, a home now, and I, I don't want to, you know, there's like Judgment, Eight of Swords on this. You're like, I want to share and open my home. I want this person to be with me, but Eight of Swords, I'm not sure. Magician, Page of Swords, Four of Swords, you've manifested this situation for yourself. You have called in this blessing. It is next level stuff. Eight of Swords. And again, it's just like you, you can't even look at the mirror here because you can't even believe that it's real. Something that you have created. It's like you can't even look at yourself in the mirror. You're like, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I got this. I can't believe it. Wheel of Fortune. It's coming in really, really fast too. Um which kind of is your speed, but I think because of how fast it is, it freaks you out a little bit. It almost feels like for some of you, someone wants to like even like settle down three of pentacles, 10 of pentacles here. It's like, hey, someone wants to invest in you and start to settle down, but you're like, oh, that's moving too fast. Or that could be you. Someone's not speaking their full truth. Black crows, black birds, black feathers could be really significant. Those are messages from your guides of like, hey, someone's not being authentic and that person could be you. This is your reading. I'm not here to like, there's no judgment, but like sometimes we need a little bit of a wake up call. Do you know what I mean? As I do that, I'm like, yeah, she's right there. Judgment. It's like, come on, ascend, rise above. Queen of Wands, Hangman, Three of Pentacles. You built confidence, you got something and you see how to build or rebuild something in, in a new light. That is a gift that you have, star card, but you're, there's something, you're not telling the full story here or someone's not. Wheel of Fortune, let's move forward anyways. Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, Eight of Swords. Well, whatever's been not said is holding up the rest of this flow is what I heard. There's a strong, good flow happening of, of gaining momentum, of getting structure, of getting money, of getting to where you want to go. But the manipulation, the lies and not telling the full truth is what's hanging up the situation. Self-sabotage is a fucking bitch. Okay? It's a real bitch. Gotta be careful with that one. Yeah. Some of y'all have a lot of blessings in your life but then you pretend like you don't or something going on here at the seven of swords. And I want to almost say to a lot of you, a lot of you, you have something great and that thing might, might slip through your fingers if you can't wake up and smell the coffee. Do you know what I mean? Death card at the bottom of the deck, three of wands, magician and the world card. Um, you're go undergoing a major transformation right now. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm hearing some of you say, I can't believe I gave that away. I can't believe I gave that away. Or I almost gave that away. Let's see what that's about. Because you got it. Whatever it is, you have it. And it's like a little bit of not being grateful for it. There's a noise outside when I'm trying to say that. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you have like a beautiful career, home, relationship, and it's like something's still festering and missing from inside of you. And you don't believe the things that are in your life, you know, are what they are. And so because of that, you'll, you'll start to self-sabotage and you'll start to push things away. Yeah. Don't do that. I love y'all, but not everything needs to be about you. Do you see that? On your queen of wands on you, look at this. Empress, divine feminine, mother energy, seven of swords, judgment judgment card. There's a, it's like a lot of you, you've, you've, you've developed some unhealthy coping mechanisms from some type of mother figure here from your childhood. It doesn't have to be your mom specifically, but Seven of Swords, it's like you learn to lie like your mom. You learn to manipulate like your mom. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel good, Ace of Swords, but that's like a wake up call reality truth right there. There's something also that, again, that you have uh, Empress, something that you have received, Seven of Swords, Judgment Call, but you're refusing to say what it is. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, because it's not good enough. Oh, that's what it is. You got something. What is it that you, what, what did you receive? What did the Empress receive? Queen of Pentacles, money, job, everything. Wealth, material abundance person who wants to invest in you six of cups maybe a child for some of you but it's not good enough now is it some of you have something you got something you got a home and it's not good enough i got this new person in my life it's not really good enough Um, what's this hangman about recent past? This, has, this is about your past blowing up in your face. Uh, Knight of Wands, Tower, Six of Cups. For some of you, I feel like there's like a parent-child relationship here um, or soulmate connection where you weren't really expecting to someone, someone to need your help or maybe you weren't expecting to actually need someone else's help here. One of the two, maybe both. You and someone really need each other, but you're kind of refusing to come together. That's the tower. What's the tower? Refusing to come together. Three of swords. What's this three of pentacles for Leo recent past? This is building or, or, or re, you know, re, reworking something. Uh, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Lover's card could be dealing with a Gemini here. Uh, yeah, someone needs your assistance, needs your help. Hey, I need money from you. I need your time. I need your advice. I need you. Someone needs you. Okay. And you have, you're the Six of Pentacles. You have the money they need, the time, the advice, the resources, if you will. Okay. Because this is someone who you care for a lot. For some of you, you've like reunited with someone and there's like a lot of secrets around it for some reason. I don't know. But you have what this person needs. They reached, reached out and asked for help or they are currently. Hey, I need your something. And you're like, yeah, I have it. I can give that to you. All right, what's this star card? Leo, what's this star card about? Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, yeah, Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Someone came out of the cold with you. You miss someone, they miss you. Four of Cups, someone took a chance. Ace of Cups, why? Because you love each other. Why? Because you miss each other. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Seven of Swords, Devil. Do you see that? Just flew out on the, on the Seven of Swords Sun card. What's this Seven of Swords? 
death card, Scorpio energy, and the four of pentacles, lover's card, counterpart energy. The devil and the lovers are a divine counterpart. BT dibs. Um, with the death card, card of Scorpio, four of pentacles, I feel like... Someone was lying to themselves that something was over because it, it wasn't. In fact, this is a counterpart situation. You're meant to be together. It could be a twin flame with the divine, with the the devil and the lovers card. Um, someone significantly, uh, an, there would be a big age difference for that group specifically. Do we see this shit? Fucking hierophant coming out, King of Pentacles. This is like someone who you're like going to marry or are married to. Some of you are like secretly like, I don't know, engaged or had a, uh, uh, what's it called? Elope for a small group of you. It feels like something like that. And it's like, shh, we're not telling anybody. This, you believe in this though. You believe it when it comes to you. That's too many. That's too many, please. That's too many. All right, let's look at this Wheel of Fortune. This is like when um, things really speed up. Three of Pentacles. So trying to get things together. Woo! World card, justice, you, strength card. So we're putting down this like, let's build it up and tear it back down. It's like, a, it's like you get together and then you don't. And then you come back together and then you fall apart. It's like a mini tower over and over those days are over with world card that cycle of rebuilding and falling apart and rebuilding and falling apart is over with cycle closed we have strength card you with justice you're getting what is deserved to you um three of swords what's your justice you can't see it you can't see it you can't see it why are you here? Because you have to step up and do it. You have, you know that term, like, I won't, I'll, uh, how do you say it? I'll believe it when I see it. That's like you. Like, that's, like to, that's like your attitude about whatever this is right now. Hmm, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. How about if you believed it first and then, and then it would show up? It would make it happen faster. That's the that's the message with the wheel of fortune. The, it'll work. It'll things will happen faster for you if you take more mature action and go get it instead of mm, it can come to me. There is a small sense of entitlement here in regards to like mm, it can come to me. Mm, it can come to me. They can come to me. Or can we jump off of that high horse pedestal just for a second and come back down to reality? and meet someone with, with where they're at. And that might be a little bit more genuine because people do that for you. Yes, yes. Ten of Pentacles, what is this about future energy for Leo? King of Cups, Queen of Swords. I see a, a partnership here. Someone, a masculine, very loving, and a feminine that's got quite the mouth on her. And he or she, by the way, Ten of Pentacles, what is this coming in? And then we overthink it, overthink it, overthink it, overthink it. We don't sleep at night about it. What is this about? Why, why, why with the, could be Virgo, dealing with a Virgo. You're bored. You. This is like some, you have, every, it's like this message that keeps coming up here. You have everything and you're bored. You have everything and you're bored. And do you know what that means? It means you're bored with you and you need more healing work and you need more love and you need to know that you're whole in and of your own self. But you're not doing the work because a lot of you are still searching for something. You're still searching for like the love that your mother never gave you. You're still searching for the love that your father never could give you. And you keep looking for that everywhere else outside of yourself. And the reason why you're not finding it fully or ever fully happy is because you refuse to find it from within yourself, which is actually where it's from. My fucking sink just started dripping absolutely for no reason when I said that. <laughs> Confirmation. No one's coming to save you, babes. 
I hate to be the one to tell you that. No one came to save me. No one's coming to save me. Jacqueline had to fucking save herself. You have to save yourself. No one's gonna magically ride in on a fucking unicorn and be like, I'm here to fix all of your problems. Do you know who that person could be? Could be you. Could be you doing that for you. You're gonna keep going through the same experiences running into the same or very similar type of challenges and issues until you decide to heal, until you decide to take the high road and look in the mirror and say, it's time for me to address the deep things within myself that I need to address so that I feel comfortable, so I can wake up every day and regardless of my circumstances, I choose happiness. That is a powerful motherfucking thing that you can do and it will, it will I fucking promise you it'll change your life you are worth it you are always been worth it I love you so much please keep going judgment now it's time to like really dig in here Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, Star Card. You can do it. You can do it. You're starting to show up in the new energy of like, yes, this is the new me. I'm speaking my truth. I'm in alignment. I'm being open and vulnerable. And then you doubt yourself and then you shrink back down. And no, 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 I can't. Yes, you can, Queen of Wands. King of Wands doesn't matter. Yes, you can. Yes, you fucking can. Judgment, Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, Star Card. Some of you are denying yourself. You're afraid of your own success. Some of you are afraid of like, um, like, I don't know. I see you like maybe you've always wanted to be like a singer or a performer or something like that. Um, but like maybe like when you were a kid, you're like your parents, like, like a mother figure was like, oh, you have a really terrible voice. You shouldn't sing. And you're like, man, I've kind of always been really good at singing though, like, you know, and you're finally like, okay, you know what? It doesn't matter what mom thought. It didn't matter what dad thought. It didn't matter what that teacher said. Like, I know I'm good at this, so I'm going to fucking do it. Do you know what I mean? You have to choose you. You have to choose you. You have to choose you. Because if they don't, nobody else is going to. You have to choose you first. And this is not a pride thing of like, well, then fine. That's what I mean. Everyone else come to me. No, stop being on this pedestal where there's no one else. And there's no one else up there with you except for you. You got to come back down to reality just a little bit here and know that you're fucking worth these big decisions that you're making here. It's time to shit or get off the pot, Leo. Eight of swords. And you know it too. Seven of pentacles. You're like, yeah, I know. I've been pussyfooting around this. Because you know it's going to cause a storm. You know it's going to cause drama. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Some of you are settling. Oh my God. Some of you are settling in a relationship because like I'm supposed to be in a relationship. And you, I have the husband or the wife and we have the cars and the house and the white picket fence. And we have everything that like society says we're supposed to fucking have. Is that making you happy? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's literally not making you happy for a second. It's not. It's literally not. I feel like, I feel like those of you that resonate with that, like I, I see you doing like a tiny home and traveling the world. That would be a thrill of life, of life for you. Not fucking settling in like a big old fancy nice home or some shit like that. And it's like, cool, this is nice and everything. But like you feel trapped and you feel caged. Because you're living for other people. You're, you're living for what society says or what mom and dad always had planned out for you. And that's the fucking issue. Magician here, five of swords, you've created this for yourself. And you've dug a hole and you're the one that has to get out of it. I can't do it for you. You have to do it. 
I love y'all. You're worth it. You belong here. You're more than deserving of this, of, of being here. You're more than deserving of all of the things. And you have a lot of things, but you're just not really happy because it's not really what you want. That hair is driving me nuts. <laughs> so figure out what you want and start, start planting seeds towards that, no matter what it is. If it's traveling the world, if it's getting a tiny home instead of a fucking fat mansion, who needs that shit? Do you know what I mean? We don't need all that. We just need each other. We just need each other, okay? Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I love you. 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 Let's do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join the love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Leo that won the pick a card this time is Chelsea Young. Chelsea, you are my winner. Okay, so Leo, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you, okay? I love y'all dearly and I'll catch you next time. Woo! All right, this is for Chelsea. Chelsea, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. What do we have for Chelsea? What is her message? What does Chelsea need to know right now? Thank you. Ace of Wands, girl. You got a passion new beginning. I feel like I, I heard you're on fire. Like you're doing really well. Like you have a lot of like energy right now to like start new things, new projects. Very good. Spirit, what do we have for Chelsea? Um, it's been kind of slow and go. You've been waiting for some things to come to fruition here. I hear you say, when's that going to happen? Five of Cups. You've been very disappointed recently that things haven't been working out the way you thought that they would be or that, 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 they, that they thought they would. Sorry, Mercury Retrograde. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. You're like, I'm hearing late bloomer. You're like, man, I wish I would have seen that a long time ago about something. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups. Someone's gonna, someone is gonna, wants to reunite with you, but I'm not sure that you want to reunite with them. Someone's gonna put in a little offer and Three of Cups wanna um, reunite with you. But, but Four of Cups here, you're just, you're like, mm, I don't know. On your seven of pentacles judgment, you've been waiting to make a big decision here. Yeah, and you've you've not been making this, the decision and that's holding you back. By you not doing anything is holding you back. By you not taking action is holding you back. Okay. On this five of cups, we have the lovers, uh, card of Gemini, conflict, five of swords, and four of swords, ace of wands. You're really disappointed that people in your life haven't stuck around the way that you wanted them to. Ace of Swords. Because you forgot that you are the gift. You forgot that you are the present, that you are the gift. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles. You forgot that you are the thing, that you are the main character. Um, you forgot that. Uh, this actually might be you learning how to like actually be yourself. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a new you. I feel like I'm alchemy. You might be learning how to um, like work, like do alchemy. Like you might be learning um, You're learning about your spiritual gifts. You might be going through like a spiritual awakening right now, actually. Um, and it feels very outside of the box for you because I feel like you're, I almost am seeing like a Bible, like you're very religious, but you're realizing that like, you're going, I'm not going to get into that. You're just going through a spiritual awakening. Um, Seven of Cups. 
Ten of Cups. Your happiness is out there. Um, it's actually deep within you and it's not outside of you. Star card. There's a major wish fulfillment coming when you least suspect. Death card, moon card. It's going to be at night, maybe with a Scorpio. Scorpio, nighttime. Um, someone might be kind of drunk or something, been drinking, so be careful of that. Yeah, six of swords. Ooh, someone might be drinking and driving, so be careful. Three of cups. Yeah, we have the two of swords, temperance, and the sun card. King of cups. There's someone that wants to give you emotional support that would make you really happy that is coming in divine timing, okay? Um, I think it comes across a little bit funny as like a drunk text or something from them. So just be careful. But yeah. All right, love. That's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.